morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Regina and I am on a weight loss journey to lose 200 pounds. So yesterday I was curious and I went to YouTube and I put in the search bar, what was the number one thing that people do to lose weight? And of course, many videos came up. One video that came up was by a doctor by the name of Dr. Fariba Dehem. And she was a bariatric surgeon at the Detroit Medical Center. And basically, basically she posed the question, what is more important, exercising or focusing on your nutrition? And basically what she said is you need to focus on your nutrition first. And so you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. You need to be able to eat calories that are good for you, that um, not all calories is the same. And the reason for that is that if you eat a combination, for example, of fat, fiber, and carbs, you're gonna stay fuller longer than if you were gonna eat some processed food that had nothing in it. And that basically, if you were to lose weight by exercising, you would need to exercise at least 60 to 90 minutes to lose the equivalent of 400 calories. Of course, that depends on your body weight, but most people have to exercise every single day for a long time. And most people nowadays, I know I don't, have, don't have that kind of time to, to work out. So she mentioned that to focus on your nutrition and, but you can still exercise. I mean, that's definitely good for you. It's, it, it's makes you flexible. It helps your circulation. It gives you endorphins. And when you exercise, you want to eat better. So the combination go well together. Okay. So the next video I watched was Katie from love sweat fitness, and she had lost 40 pounds and she had made a list of seven things that she suggested you don't do when you want to lose weight. So I thought this was pretty interesting and made a lot of sense to me. The first one she mentioned was over-exercising. She said in the beginning that she was obsessed with exercising and thought the more she did that, the more she would lose weight. Well, she did. She would work out for hours on end and not do anything else. And she could keep it up for about three weeks and then she would lose weight. And then the minute she got burnt out, she gained it all back. So basically she said, just give yourself credit. Do a little bit of time. Start with 10 minutes, work your way up to 30. Leave it at that. One day cardio, the next day weights. The next one day cardio, the next day weights. And if you have time during the day to get out for a 10 minute walk, do that. But just keep it, keep it, you know, that, that it's not so difficult and that you're not putting all your time and energy into that. The second thing she did was she stopped weighing herself every single day. She was doing that like every single day, maybe a couple times a day <laughs> to see where her weight was going. And I can relate to that. I've done that before and it just, sets you up for failure for fa you know failure you don't there's no way you're gonna have constant losses your body retains water some days some days you are having if you're a woman you have menstrual issues that you know put on water weight and muscles sometimes will also make you a little heavier so what she did was she started working out and she would weigh herself once a month only and she said that basically helped her and she didn't, you know, she didn't get down on herself. The third thing she did was she took her measurements. Um, she, instead of looking at the scale all the time, she looked at how her clothes were fitting and how she was feeling and just her general wellness. The fourth thing she stopped doing is looking at social media, fitness models and actors and, you know, unreal, unrealistic body images. You know, these, these, these people have chefs, they have personal trainers, their job is to lose weight. So they do it all day long and they can, they can look like that. It's, it's not attainable for most people and it's not realistic. So she stopped looking at that. The next thing she did is she stopped binging on Netflix because she found she was spending all her time on the couch and not preparing healthy meals and not looking after herself and not going to the gym. So she stopped watching them or stopped binging. She didn't stop, but she stopped binging on Netflix. Okay. So the sixth thing that she mentioned that she stopped doing were juice cleanses. She basically was doing juice cleanses to detox. And while she would lose weight, the minute she started eating even a carb, you know, even a carrot, even a vegetable, whatnot, I'm exaggerating, but you get my point. As soon as she, knew she started eating regularly or, you know, in a, in a, in a real world sense, she, she gained all of her weight back and more. So the seventh thing she said that she did is stop going on diets that were too restrictive. And I believe in this philosophy too, everything in moderation, there's no good food and there's no bad food. And basically what you want to do is 
you want to add to your foods. You don't want to take away. You want to add. Say you're having um, pasta, and you know that's not going to that's not going to be fill you up because pasta is you know the carbs go quickly, whatnot. And she would say that what she would do is she would add, add a salad or add a vegetable to a meal. You know things like that that would make her satiety level higher. So those are the seven things that she that she did not do and she lost 40 pounds and she's kept it off. And so I found these videos to be very interesting. I'm curious to see what you did to lose weight or what suggestions you have. Please leave it in the comments below. And if you've not subscribed yet to my channel, please hit the subscribe and like button. I'd really appreciate it. I'm a new channel and I need all the views and all the help I can get. So thanks so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and keep on staying fit. Bye.